Throughout the Second World War, there were many horrific stories of executions and war crimes. After the conflict had drawn to a close, the task of the Allies was to bring justice to the prisoners of the concentration camps by punishing the guards who inflicted such suffering onto the inmates. Many of the concentration camps following liberation had death around every corner. Many of the prisoners told of the true horrors of the camps, and inside, execution, violence and beatings were very common. But inside of Buchenwald, there were many stories of evil at the hands of the SS. It was where Ilse Koch became known as the Witch of Buchenwald. She would inflict such misery onto the prisoners, and selected many to be beaten if they just looked at her. But also inside of Buchenwald was a guard known as a hangman, who gained this specific nickname for his brutal treatment of two Austrian priests, who were then executed after they were crucified upside down for hours, inside a forest where there was a huge amount of death and suffering. Join us today as we look at the horrific execution of the crucified priests of Buchenwald, and remember to support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. Buchenwald was a concentration camp, which since its opening saw a huge amount of death and killing. Over 50,000 people were killed inside the barbed wire fences, and over 200,000 prisoners passed through the gates, meaning that roughly one quarter of all prisoners perished at the hands of the evil SS guards. There were many different execution sites at the camp, including a firing range, where the Commandant Carl Otto Koch was executed after he was found guilty of embezzling and stealing money from the Third Reich and the Nazis, as he was building huge projects at Buchenwald for his own pleasure. But also there was a next shooting facility where 8,000 Soviet POWs were killed inside of a stable, being tricked into a medical exam before they were shot dead. But inside the camp there were two priests who had been imprisoned for some time. More is known about Otto Neurura, the Matthias Spanglang, but the pair were both Austrian priests. Neurura had served as a priest before the Second World War, and he travelled to many different lands and parishes to preach. Following the Nazi annexation of Austria in 1938 in the Anschluss, the Nazis then arrested a number of priests inside of the land. Neurura was a parish priest in Götzen when this happened. He advised at the time a girl not to marry a divorced man, but this man was actually a very close friend of the Nazi Gauleiter or regional leader named Franz Hoffer. The girl refused to listen to the priest's advice, and then told Hoffer of Neurura's advice. With this, he was then arrested on the 15th of December 1938, and was accused of slander to the detriment of German marriage, and he was then sent to Dachau concentration camp on the 3rd of March 1939. He was held at Dachau for a number of months, before on the 26th of September 1939, he was sent to Buchenwald concentration camp. Whilst here he was tortured a number of times for information, and the guards would brutalise him. He was held in the Gestapo prison, and was given hardly any food, but whatever food he did have he passed on to other prisoners, who were suffering and starving. This possibly saved the lives of others, and his giving nature was in line with what he believed in. The other priest who found himself inside of Buchenwald at the time was Matthias Spanlang, who worked in a number of Austrian parishes before the Nazis seized control. Local Nazis had begun to hold meetings in the parish for years before the Anschluss, and Spanlang was not liked by them as he preached against their ideology and beliefs, and even wrote many articles against them. He was sent to the Rieder prison on the 24th of May 1938, and following this was then taken to Dachau. He was transported to Buchenwald on the same day that Neurera was also transferred. The pair were both tortured inside the camp, but then it was alleged that the pair, whilst they were held inside a detention bunker, committed an infringement of the camp's rules. It was alleged that the pair had agreed to perform a banned baptism inside the camp for a prisoner who came to Neurera in April 1940. Both of the priests suspected that this was a trap, but following this they were both sent into a detainment and punishment block, where they were beaten further and tortured. But there was one SS guard who became known as the Hangman of Buchenwald for the punishment he inflicted on both Spanlang and Neurera. The two priests were left to Martin Sommer, who was known as a depraved and sadistic SS guard. Whilst at Buchenwald, Sommer was known for being incredibly violent and terrible. In fact, Heinrich Himmler even investigated the camp, and because of his intense brutality, Sommer was even brought to trial by the Nazis. He was known for having a secret compartment under the floor near his desk, where he had a number of instruments for torture that he used, and also he had a number of needles that he would use to kill the victims. Following torture, he would kill them with an injection of carbolic acid, either into their heart or into their veins, which would cause an embolism and kill the prisoners. 
Late into the night, Martin Sommer, the hangman of Buchenwald, would torture prisoners, often to death, and then under the cover of darkness, he would kill these prisoners. He then even hid the victims' bodies under his own bed, and he would dispose of them in the following morning. Martin Sommer was a brute, and he later would receive a reduction in his rank for his crimes at Buchenwald, and he was even forced to serve inside a penal battalion on the Eastern Front. But two of his most brutal and barbaric crimes that he carried out was the execution of the two Austrian priests. Because they were found performing the sacrament of penance allegedly on an inmate, the two Austrian priests were to be executed and were actually tortured to death. Nerura was taken into a forest inside the camp, and it was said that he was taken to a tree, and he was then hanged upside down, practically crucified on the tree. Nerura should have screamed and shouted as he was secured to the tree, however it was said he courageously never complained, and whilst he was losing consciousness, he was mumbling and speaking to God in his final moments. He was left hanging upside down, and left naked for 34 hours straight, in complete agony in the freezing cold. It was then around 34 hours later that he succumbed to his fate, and was killed at the hands of Martin Sommer, the hangman of Buchenwald. The execution was incredibly brutal, and the prisoners often noted that from the forest nearby that screams could be heard that were blood-curdling and terrifying. Nerura took the ordeal, being practically crucified for 34 hours before he then died. His remains were cremated on the 3rd of June 1940, and the Nazis documented his cause of death as acute cardiac weakness, rather than being executed through barbaric torture. Strangely, his ashes were then sent to his former parish of Gertsen, they were then stored under the altar of the parish church there. But it's assumed that Matthias Spanlang was killed in the same way also, being crucified to death. It's believed that he too was crucified upside down, and then succumbed to his fate hours later, but there is less known about his death. It's believed that the pair were killed together, but Spanlang was never beatified, but Nurura was. The two Austrian priests initially were imprisoned for speaking out against the Nazis, and also speaking out with opinions that the evil Third Reich did not like. With this, the two were transported to Buchenwald, which was one of the most brutal concentration camps of the Second World War. When the pair were taken there, they were doomed, so it was likely they would have been executed or killed for their refusal to hand over information, and also at Buchenwald there was a policy where prisoners would work until they simply died and could not work no more. The pair became two of over 56,545 prisoners who never made it out of the camp alive because of the brutality of the concentration camp staff. What is shocking is that even the Nazis saw the behaviour of the main torturer, Martin Sommer, as too much. Sommer later was imprisoned as a POW inside a Red Army prison camp, and was later released from Soviet captivity in 1955. Following his release, he lived in West Germany, but was brought to trial for being guilty of murdering 25 inmates. He was deemed complicit in more killings, and was imprisoned. But he was later released as it was deemed there was no suitable facility to treat his war wounds, but he died in 1988, over 40 years after he had committed his evil crimes, and after the war had ended. For the hangman of Buchenwald, his crimes went largely unpunished, and there was certainly no justice for the two Austrian priests, who were crucified inside of Buchenwald. Their stories are just two, of thousands of stories of immense brutality and barbaric treatment that occurred inside the concentration camps. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe, and once again, thank you so much for watching.